Hello everybody. In lesson 6.6, .6, we're going to work with the concept known as estimation in three-digit addition. So basically our central question is how do you make reasonable estimates when solving problems? So let's review some concepts here. So how many hundreds does each number have? So look at this number. 427 has how many hundreds? If you need you can write a hundreds uh, place value chart. Hundreds, tens, ones. And so 427. So 427 has four hundreds. Okay. How about our next one? 651. 651. How many hundreds does that number have? 600. So basically, ones, tens, hundreds. The hundreds are always the third digit from the right. Okay, ones, tens, hundreds. 348. How many hundreds are in 348? Three hundreds. Okay. All right, so we do need to know which place value is the hundreds for today's uh, lesson. All right, so what is each sum? 500 plus 100 more. Well, don't we just have to add the hundreds? Yeah, and that's a basic math fact. 5 plus 1 is 6, so 6 hundred. 400 plus 300. Again, just add the hundred and four plus three is a basic math fact seven hundred six hundred plus two hundred just add the hundreds six and two is eight so eight hundred eight hundred and another hundred is nine hundred okay so fairly simple review there right okay so that's what we're going to do to find estimates okay so an estimate tells about how many. So look at the hundreds digits. 518. Okay, so there's 500, right? 336. 300. So a reasonable estimate for this problem is 800. All right, use the values of the hundreds digit to estimate the sum. Okay, we're not worrying about what is known as the concept of rounding up or down. All we're doing for this lesson is just looking at the hundreds. Okay, so 200 plus 300. That gives us a est reasonable estimate of 500. 719. Just look at the hundreds. There's seven hundreds. In 138, there are one hundred. So a reasonable estimate for this is eight hundred. 231. What digit is in the hundreds place? Two. So 200. 525. What digit is in the hundreds? Five. So 500. So what is that estimate? 700. I guess I should have written the answers underneath instead of just on the right hand side. Okay, so 500 plus 200 is 700. All right, let's go to page 303. Use the values of the hundreds digits to estimate the sum 625, 600, 309. That's 300. Just add the hundreds. 6 and 3 is math fact of 9. So 6 plus 3 is 9. So 900. 9 okay, so there are 246 children at Debbie School and there are 328 children at Jacob's School. Without adding... Explain how you could estimate the number of children at the two schools. 
without adding explain how you could estimate. Okay, so what I would do based on what we're practicing today is I would circle the hundreds. So if we just add the hundreds digit, 2 and 3, we would get 5. So there are about 500 students. Okay, number 6. Verify the reasoning of others. So there are two boxes of crayons. There are 138 crayons in the first box and 309 crayons in the second box. Manual estimates that there are about 700 crayons altogether. Do you agree? Explain why. Okay, so we said that he said that there's 700 altogether. So if we look at the hundred, the one in the hundred in the hundreds place in 138, and the three in 309. I would say I disagree. I think there's about 400 crayons. No. I don't agree. If you add the hundreds digits, one and three, you get four. So there are about 400. Not 700. Okay. So again, just looking at 300, 100, that's three plus 100 is 400. So not 700. I'm not quite sure how you would get 700 out of that. Okay. All right, let's take a look at page 304. All right, so I'll write or draw to explain. Daniel has two boxes of trading cards. There are 327 cards in one box and 418 cards in the other box. If he buys a pack of 225 cards, estimate the number of cards that will, he will have. Write or draw to show how you made your estimate. So, estimate how many cards he will have. So, he has 327 and 418, and then he buys 225. So, we have to add three three-digit numbers. So we have 327 plus 418 plus 225. Okay, so I got to plug my computer in. Sorry about that. All right, sorry for the interruption there. So we have to add 327 plus 418 plus 225. But it says about. So we want to end estimate, right? It says estimate the number of cards. All right, well, let's just look at the hundreds digit in each number. So 300 plus 400 plus 200. All right, well, what's 400 plus 300? Well, 4 plus 3 is just 7, right? So 700. What's 700 plus 200? That's 900. So he's going to have about 900 cards after he purchases the 225. 
All right, now number eight. Andy's family drove 318 miles on Saturday and 553 miles on Sunday. About how many, how, about how far did Andy's family drive in all? About, okay. So whenever we have a word problem that says about, we don't want an exact answer. We just want something that's close. So they drove 318 on Saturday, 553 on Sunday. So we're going to be adding 318 plus 553. But because it said about how far, we're just going to focus on the hundreds digit. So 300 plus 500. So they drove about 800 miles. So fill in the bubble next to all the sentences that describe what you would do to estimate the distance. I would add 300 plus 500. Yeah, that's what we did. Okay. I would regroup the tens. No, because we're finding about how many. There aren't any tens. I would add the hundreds digits. Yeah. 300 and 500. We're adding the hundreds digits. I would add a hundred to the hundreds digit. No, because that would require regrouping. We're not regrouping anything. Okay. So when we estimate, we're having numbers that typically will not involve regrouping. Okay. So 300 plus 500, and we added the hundreds digits. Okay. All right. So that's it for lesson 6.6. .6. In our next lesson, we're going to be working with subtraction with three-digit numbers. So until then, I will see you soon.